good morning uh, for anybody who's new to my videos my name is Jeff and um, I did a video yesterday on a flash cam doing a flash cam for a 1022 um, bull barrel and um, I'm actually going to take one of my bulls and I'm going to cut the muzzle and thread it here for this can but I finished to do I decided to do some finishing touches to this and uh, what I'm going to do here today I'm going to take the vice off the mill after I just indicated it in two days ago I'm going to take it off put the rotary table back on we're going to put a three quarter or a five eighths hex around the muzzle OD right here. And then we're going to put the um, spanner slots in here for the spanner wrench to tighten down. And I might take it as far as running a 316 flute um, around the, the OD of the body. Um, yeah, remember, this is thin wall, so I can't plunge in very deep to do it through fluting. But I can flute. I'm just not going to be able to go in very deep. And it was it should still look pretty good. And then I'm probably going to uh, dirt coat it. Um, I have some dirt coat over here I'd like to use up. So we might do this in a in a flat dark earth or a, a OD green. I think I have some tactical black. Um, I got snow gray. I got a few different colors, but um, I don't think I'm going to do that in the video. But we are going to do the hex today. We are going to do the spanner, and we're going to do some flutes. And I'll get this video up and I'll try not to talk as much. I know I'm talking too much in these videos and uh, we're going to kind of bring that to an end. So stay with me. I'm going to get set up here and get this in the mill and then we'll start shooting video on the machining of the hex, flutes, spare cuts. Okay, I got the, I went ahead and um, indicated the rotary table back in, rotary fixture, dividing head, the same crap. It's uh, an indexing fixture is what it does. And um, but anyways, we got it, got it indicated in. I got the part in. I'm warming up my mill machine spindle right now. And then we're going to put a, a 750, a three-quarter inch hex around this part right here so we can tighten it down with a wrench. So I'm going to shut this down, let this warm up a little bit more. And then when I'm up, up to operating temperature, I'm going to do some time-lapse video of putting this hex on. Start to finish time-lapse on the hex. So we got to do this video fast and I got to keep myself from talking so much. So here we go. You all ready for a time lapse? Okay, this is it. It's the last talking I'm doing. We're going to time lapse this whole thing. Then I'll talk. I got to keep my talking down. Okay, I'm going to shut this off and time lapse. Okay, you just saw the time lapse of the me putting the hex on. There's the hex, nice and pretty. It's five H, um, five H wrenches right here. I think this is five H. No, that's nine sixteen. Up to right here. Okay, we'll test it real quick in front of you. So I went ahead and I turned the part around. I turned the can around, and for, <laughs> I got ahead of myself and. Uh, I'm wearing a mask because there's there's a bunch of small debris come aluminum coming off. So I'm gonna wear the mask so I don't breathe any of this in. So, anyways, um I started to cut before I realized I hadn't turned the camera on, so it's doing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this real quick. It doesn't have to be done in time lapse because I'm only doing two cuts. So let's get this going. You can watch this real quick. It's real easy. I got the end mill sticking out further than I want. So this is not something that I would do on a regular basis, but it's a clearance issue between the between the mill and the dividing head here. And it's okay, we'll get it done. So I'm gonna go in already preset at zero. Then we'll go in that depth. No big deal. We'll come to it. Zero. We're gonna come out. 
Now I'm going to turn it 180 degrees to make another cut. So let's do that and get this, this, this clip done. Oh shit, we have another clearance issue. Okay, we can do it. See where I'm at. Okay. Should be 240. Boy, I hope I don't hit that chuck. Right there. Do I have clearance? I don't think I'm going to pull it off. Shit. Yeah, I might. Let's see here. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to hit. Yeah, I sure am. Oh, fuck. Okay, let me stop this video and set this up. I'm just going to do this cut. I kind of just just misjudged this. I, that's my own fault. So there, it wasn't a mistake to cost me a part. It was a mistake of not paying attention to where a jaw was in relation to, to the 180 degree turn. So there you go. I made a mistake. Okay, so what I decided to do was I was just going to make one spanner. I just didn't want to go through the hassle and the length of time setting this back up. So we're only going to do one spanner cut. And that's all it's needed. There isn't, we don't need two. I just wanted to do, oh shit. <laughs> I just wanted to do two. That's all. Yeah. There we go. Spanner's cut. Our hex is cut. Now it's time to flute it. So let me turn this thing off and get busy and we'll do the flute and time lapse. I got it in here. I got a 316 um, ball and mill. As you can see it all. I, I'm sorry about that. There you go. So anyways, I'm, I've got this thing on the, on the uh, gimbal. I apologize. But anyway, let me back out the zoom here. So the 316 ball and mill. I set it up. I just went ahead and cut a flute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to flute it uh, in the center, a little short from, I'm not going to go the length of it. And um, I'm going to do it every 30 degrees. So let me do a time lapse here and we'll get flutes all the way around this 30 degrees apart. And this thing's done uh, for today. So let me stop this. I think this will do it from here. And I'll do a time lapse.
just finished doing the flute and we're going to pull it out <laughs> look at that isn't that pretty so we got our spanner it's fluted and hexed beautiful stuff okay let me put it on the bench over here and finish this video up there you go it really turned out pretty didn't it um i can't tell if the focus is good again i have no idea but anyway so here's our hex we put on and we fluted it all the way around every 30 degrees all the way around the flutes are identical in length and uh and depth so and we put we put the uh, little spanner slot in it so our spanner tools we can tighten the front cap but isn't that beautiful that is just absolutely beautiful and the hex is the hex is just sweet too so let me uh so if that was a barrel, let's pretend that was a barrel sticking out there. There's your flash can. Real pretty. So I went ahead and did some finishing touches for you. And there you go. Everybody, please um, like and subscribe. Um, anybody new to my video, again, my name is Jeff. And uh, I need I need uh, likes and, and people to subscribe. And I'm grateful, again, thank you to everybody that's watching my videos. And um, uh, I hope everybody's having a good Christmas. It's Christmas Day. And uh, I've been in here. And I decided to go ahead and do some funny finishing touches on this and go ahead and throw another little video up real quick to show you how pretty it could possibly be. And I can Cerakote this. I can Duracoat it. But beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. And I still did not. But uh, I did not slot inside of it. So let's make sure everybody knows that right now. Just take this nice, beautifully fluted can off. Not slotted. Doesn't function. It might after I turn the camera off though. But anyway, everybody, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Please. Um, I'm gonna put my information in the in the description again. You'll have my emails there and my um if you'd like to support the channel, and I would very much appreciate it. Um, if you don't want to support, that's fine too. Um, I'm gonna have my PayPal there. But everybody have a great Christmas day. Again, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.